If you recall, my carpuride unit came without the, the little door on the SD card slot. And I sent an email to support at carpuride.com and they shipped this all the way from China. So these are a couple of blanking plates with a couple of screws and some kind of little um, rectangular gasket there. So I'm gonna go and uh, peel off. I don't know if you can see that there, but uh, I've got my, <laughs> what do you call that? Electrical tape uh, taped over the hole and it held up beautifully. Um, I, I was in one rainstorm with it and uh, yeah, there's no, uh, no ingress of water as far as I could tell. And the rest of the time that I was on this trip here, uh, there was absolutely no rain. So, uh, you know, everything uh, is going to work out, I guess, as long as this fits. So this little rectangular gasket goes in to the area where the, um, I don't know how to say this, where the SD card is. And that is what makes it waterproof. So if I can just slip this in here, I'll show you. This, um, this design is a little bit fiddly in terms of, uh, you know, there's lots of bits and pieces that can fall out um, if you're not careful. Hopefully you don't have to take this SD card out too much, but that's what happens when I put it in. I put that in there and it fits right around the SD card slot. And then there's this little piece here, the little door that I'm going to just show you. Put it in there. Yeah, right. It looks as though it fits one way, yeah. Uh, it's not symmetric. So you've got to figure out which side is the longer side and there's a little step in it. So should be simple and straightforward, he said. And it compresses that gasket a little bit. So this is how it goes. And then there's a couple, they shipped me uh, four screws. So I've got two extra screws, I guess. And I can just install that. But you can tell that it's a little bit proud because of that gasket. So it'll compress the gasket a little bit. So now it's all installed and um, it all went together as expected. And um, yeah, should be waterproof now. Uh, while I did have it out, I um, had to take out the SD card. I've got a 64 gigabyte SD card in here. And I might have mentioned before in the previous video that uh, the SD card has to be formatted to um, FAT32. I've got a Windows computer behind me here, Windows 11, and Windows 11 does not give the, uh, the, the option of formatting to FAT32, just XFAT and NTFS. In order to format a drive to FAT32, especially this 64 gigabyte card that I have in here, you've got to download uh, a separate um, utility. Luckily, it's free and I'll put a link on the screen. It's called Disk Genius. And um, once you install the Disk Genius, uh, you can select the, um, uh, the card, which you would have uh, put into your computer. Uh, select the card and then right click and then say that you want to format it just like normal. And there's a whole bunch of options. Uh, this is a pretty powerful program. Just make sure that you pick the correct um, drive and you don't format your own hard drive. But uh, yeah, pick the drive that uh, the SD card is in, right click, it gives you the different options, XFAT, NTFS, FAT32, and it, uh, I believe, gives the sector size as 32 uh, megabytes. So um, yeah, I went ahead and formatted, that went smooth and I stuck it in here. Now I'm gonna power this unit up and uh, using my CPAP battery, and see how it, uh, how it, you know, see how that SD card looks. But for now, this, um, this little video is just to, to complete this installation of this uh, little door for the SD card uh, slot.